Howdy folks, we are back. We're basically in the uh, same position. I mean, we are in the same position as we were before. Um, we're going to eat because we're a little hungry. Before getting out of the car, we're also going to smoke. The zombies are uh, getting a little bit close to us. Slowly moving down. So our plan right now is going to be to get out... Try to grab one of our guns. And then go from there. So, uh, M9, grab. Um, M9 magazines, grab those. M9 uses, uh, 9mm. Let's grab those. Okay. We have one guy slowly slinking over to us, so I'll, uh, Wait for him to approach. Take him down real quick. I can handle these few zombies that are right here. Well, I could if I uh, had my nightstick still. Maybe I can get him. I push him down. And, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna deal with that nonsense. Luckily, I have a, uh, another nightstick that I can use here. Also, look, that guy has a gun or two for me. Well, that's the guy whose backpack I wanted. Perfect. Find that backpack. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful too. Right, I'm just gonna place the duffel bag down here. And then we'll find it again and we'll go ahead and just equip that. So put that on my back. We also have a revolver. We have a shotgun. Is that the shotgun we were using before? We have those. Alright. Well, and he had some more ammo up there. 38 special. Let's grab that. All right, let's do a quick circle here. Make sure we're not going to get snuck up behind. Go ahead and grab the rest of this stuff. All right. So let's put the pistol there. And then... Let's go ahead and unload a couple of these boxes. Okay. go. Let's go ahead and uh, just kind of insert all of our ammunition into these magazines so we can just easily in and out real quick. Okay. I want this one. Insert mag there. Nightstick. I can't put it on my back, unfortunately. This revolver I'll go ahead and put in five right there. I suppose I could put that on the back, but I'm not going to do that right now. Let's get ready to take out these zombies, and then we'll neutralize them here. Okay. Looks like we are fully reloaded and ready to go. Um, let's go ahead and take out our other pistol, though, that we just got, the revolver. Okay. And last but not least, I'm going to take the duffel bag and put it into my backpack. And also, let's smoke another cigarette. We're apparently getting a little bit of... Oop. Let's not go that far over there. Let's use the revolver first. And then we'll switch to the other one that we have more rounds for. So... I 
I'm not doing too well with the uh, aim right now, it looks like. Okay. That's just fine. We're all good. Okay, and then just the last couple of bullets here. Yep. We'll go ahead and switch to our other pistol. Let's get some proper distance here. There we go. Alright. It's one mag down. Obviously not ideal. Alright. I do believe that was all the zombies around us. Perfect. Let's just do a quick look behind this building here. Looks okay. These open, not from this way. How about this door? Oh, but we do have windows over here, so we can easily break in. Go. And then climb through. What is all of this? Fresh onions. Huh. That's neat. Pale cherries. It looks like it's a lot of just. Full ass watermelon, huh? Okay. Do we have anything with like uh, seeds or anything like that, maybe? I've just never been to this place and I'm just curious what all it has. It's definitely some sort of like a uh, farm storage location, yeah. Dang, if you found this place like right at the start, it would be just amazing for, like, survival. I think every single thing here is going to be... Oh, we actually do have some seeds. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to open and close these. Go ahead and close this window. Now I should be able to open and close the doors from uh, any side here. Yep. Perfect. All right. Let me just look at my inventory real quick. It's, uh, yeah, I'm just going to throw this nightstick on the ground. We don't need multiple. How's our wound doing? Looking pretty good. In fact, do I even need this one? Is it healed? It is healed. Heck yeah. All right. Back to the back of our uh, truck here. Let's go ahead and store the stuff we don't really need right now. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and unpack all of these real quick, like. And then we can, uh, I'm just going to reload since we have a full magazine here. Then we can go ahead and, uh, reload these as we go. Alright. Let's check this other warehouse as we reload our other magazines. Nope. 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 Alright. Everything else looks like it is uh, cured there, so let's go ahead and climb through the window. Close the window. Oops, not outside. Please. All right, what do we got over here? Might be a good idea to wash the blood off of ourselves here at the sink. After we clean our bandages first and make sure we drink and stuff. Still on unlimited water, which is good. Um, 
Screw it, let's just wash all of our clothing. Okay. We're getting a little hungry, so let's find some food that's not stale or rotten. There we go, a sack of potatoes. Let's go ahead and open that. We'll just open one sack of it. We'll stuff our face. Oh, never mind. I guess we're just gonna do that then. I'll hold on to those potatoes for now. So let's just go past everything. I think everything is just gonna be more of the same here. Looks like it. Okay. There is that little uh, place down south here. Like a shed or like a little house thing. Locked. Looks like it's just a shed, but it does have a um, garage door here. Not a garage door, a generator here. We have hammer, leaf, rake, pipe wrench, hand torch, lug wrench. Nice. This is like a great place to start, I feel. Like if you were to just spawn here, you could just live off the land. Um, the one thing would be the generator power. Getting uh, fuel for that would be a challenge. And you got this, uh, this nice huge field here. You could possibly, like, take a bed from somewhere and even put it in that little shed there and have that be your house. Or even just turn one of the warehouses into something, you know? There's not really much else around us that we can really, you know, do. Looks like there's a, uh, this little place here. Oh, there's a little community over there? You suppose it's like little buildings for like farm hands or like a, a camp or something? I don't know. But you know what? Maybe, maybe this is the end for Devin. The guy here, you know. He survived. He's he made it out of the, the little town he started in, got supplies, got some ammunition and stuff, and managed to kill almost 500 zombies, 415 to be exact. But he got here to this place that's quiet, no zombies really around at all. In fact, if we get in here, we could just land the horn a little bit. I don't think we're going to get any zombies, because it's just such an out-of-the-way place that, you know, there's just nothing here. But, I did put a map in the glove box, right? What did it say? I know we briefly looked at it. Whoever finds this, I was Natalie Sigmundson, lecturer in art history at, I'm assuming that's Louisville State University here. Louisville University, something like that. I'm already dead, but I have a final request. This is only the end of the world. Uh, this is only this is only the end of the world. Is me, if we, I guess, if we allow it to be. We must secure the treasures in the art gallery, or we will truly, or we will be truly lost. Friends managed to gather a cache of weapons in a car near the gallery. Use them to clear it. Let no one say that humanity is lost forever. You know what? I like that sentiment. How about this? 
we have this map. We have Devin with his vehicle full of medical supplies, food supplies, weapons, and all that, right? We're in a safe location. Devin could, for all intents and purposes, just quit. He could call this the end and be like, we're done. We no longer need to go out and fight anything. We can just chill here. But... Is that what he would do? I don't know. After all, we don't really know much about Devin, do we? I think, perhaps, Devin as a person would think one last hurrah. Perhaps we go and liberate those paintings. Perhaps we bring them back here where we can start a life and just wait until rescue or something happens, right? Start our own little place here. Yeah, sounds good. And so that's what we'll do. Let's check how much room we have here in the back. Quite a little bit. Perhaps we'll remove stuff we don't really need right now. Like the duffel bag. This revolver that doesn't have ammo we can use. The, uh... How much 45 we got? Barely any, so we'll just get rid of this stuff. We have an M14 magazine, but no M14, so bye-bye. We have this poor condition shotgun. This one's even better, so I don't care about that. We don't have an R7788. That doesn't matter. Two-time scope isn't going to help us with anything we currently have here right now. Let's see. These 308 rounds we don't need. All right. I'm going to take this stuff and we'll store it down here. And you know what? Like I said, this is going to be sort of the last hurrah for Devin. Devin has survived pretty well. And all that. So we're just going to dump some stuff in here. Perhaps another survivor will come along who needs it. And who can, you know, take it and, and use it. In that event and if we return here safely well we can start our own home so we're gonna go ahead and make a mark there we're then not gonna come up there we're, we're, we're a ways away from Louisville but I'm just gonna place these down here and then there's a car over here right So if you remember when we went to Louisville before, it was insane. When we were spawning in there with the zombies we had, it was crazy. If we go in there with our loud vehicle, go down the street and just end up here, I think we'll be screwed. Um, so we either need to do one or two approaches here. We need to leave our vehicle on the outskirts and then just slowly walk up here, take this stuff, and dip. Or, we need to drive our vehicle all the way up here, say to around here, where hopefully there will be less zombies. And get out, lose the zombies in this area, rest up, hit the car, hit the art gallery, run back up here, and grab our stuff, right? Incidentally, maybe I want this duffel bag. So if I just put this duffel bag in my offhand, that's just more weight that I can carry. Right? Also, I no longer need this uh, this map. So I'm going to put that in here for any survivors who might be coming by as well. All right. Mm -mm. We aren't doing too well weight-wise, but I think that's mainly because we're having uh, this nightstick and that nightstick, and we have some magazines here, which I actually don't weigh that much. But uh, this 9mm round, we put all that into our bag. 
I should lighten us up a bit because I think the nine millimeter only weighs a pound, huh? I'm not sure what's weighing me down then. Can I put this in the holster? Nah. Oops. Didn't want to drop the hammer. All right. This will be our plan. We will drive up to Louisville. Even though I'm not sure how to get there from here. We basically just got to go north. And, uh... Yeah. The right home possible right there. I wish it was a little larger, but whatever. All right, so we're gonna head right, kind of follow the road as best we can here. Luckily, we don't have Sunday drivers, so we can go a little bit faster. We just have to be aware of potentially uh, hazards in the road, like zombies or uh, broken vehicles and the like. It makes sense now why so many cars are broken down on the roadside over here. They were all trying to get to that place that seems like a relatively safe haven for people to be at, right? For now, as long as we're heading northeast, we will eventually, uh, eventually reach where we're going. So let's take a right here and be on our way. Our main concern is going to be, of course, uh, gasoline. <coughs> Excuse me. It's gasoline. And the condition of our vehicle. Because if we get stranded without the ability to um, get around fast, we we'll basically be screwed regardless. So this could be the last journey of Devon. The burglar who started out by well, being in the middle of breaking a home, breaking into a home when the zombie apocalypse happened, and looted what he could, got some survival supplies together, tried to get to his friend who he knew was up in the uh, prison. Ooh, but it was overrun, and he knew his friend wouldn't be there. So. Devin decided to find somewhere else. So, found a nice little place, but then he found a map telling him about stuff, and his sentimental side kind of got to him. So he decided he had to go up there and do what the map said. There was also the promise of weapons that sweetened the pot a bit, but some art for his new home wouldn't be a bad thing, right? Oh my god, that was close, holy shit. <laughs> and so we have Devin driving through the night, trying to make it to Louisville as quickly as possible. I really wish I could see further into the road. Because all it would take was like one or two crashes and we're just like, gonna die. Oh my god, I don't know how I... Missed that sign, but thank God I did. Okay. Shit. Oof. Crazy, isn't it? We are currently here. We're making good progress. It's not a lot of progress, but it's progress. I'm gonna try to eat the things that are like one or two, so that I can clear up the inventory for the most part, so that we don't have a whole bunch of uh, stuff cluttering it up, right? If I can get rid of like the tortilla chips, for example, that'd be one less thing I have to scroll past or around to get whatever I need, right? Luckily, we're in a uh, relatively Good state of health. Are we stuffed or are we just well fed? Let's eat another thing of tortilla chips then. Alright. We 
we do have to go a lot, lot further to the, uh... Every time I see a car, I immediately hit the space bar to brake, and then determine whether or not I need to swerve. It's kind of intense. I wonder how far we can get on this tank of gas. We do have those three uh, gas cans with us as well, but you never know. I think that's only going to give me like three-fourths of the way. Also, it might be easy to get into Louisville, but getting out is probably going to be a whole different story. Especially if we try to take the same way. It's probably be best for us to take like one way to get in and then another way to get out. That way the zombies won't be like moving the same way as us, right? Because if we uh, lure them all to like one road as we go in, we'll have to go through them to get out, right? Looks like that guy hit something and flew out the windshield there. That would have been us if we wouldn't have stopped in time. Okay. We're getting into uh, town territory here. So we're going to end up seeing a lot more zombies. Well, we're still green condition here. That's good. That could have been really bad. We also didn't seem to take too much damage from that, which is good. I looked away for a second, and I almost ran into those cars. I just wanted to know that. So this should be Riverside, if I remember correctly. Because it's at the side of a river. Zombie, I couldn't turn in time. Let me slow down and look at the map real quick. Basically, I think I want to take this road just straight on through, and then when we have to turn after getting through it, we want to turn north. going too fast here. Man, hit that one. Go around these cars. I gotta say though, if you were to play this with like a controller, or using a uh, stick to drive, it would be smoother, but I could not for the life of me, like, wrap my brain around doing it. I feel like my brain would just be like, no. There's a gas station there. I'm gonna just mark that real quick. In case we need to do like an emergency stop to get gas. But we're making good fuel efficiency so far. We need to hit that guy. Or that one. God damn it. But, uh,. Yeah. I think we're out of town, so the next left we want to take the train, like an actual train. I wonder if you can drive it. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Alright, so if we check the map, we should be, yep, going the right way. Get out of here. Oh no! That's not ideal. Am I gonna have to use the train tracks, maybe? Definitely can't use the bridge. If we can't use the train tracks, then I'll have to... Uh, something else. That worked, luckily. 
If there was something blocking that, we would have been screwed. I would have had to either push it out of the way if it was just one vehicle or do something. Let me check the map. I want to recenter it a little bit. Okay. We've made it about halfway on not even a quarter tank of gas because the fuel gauge was like right there. Maybe driving at higher speeds on like the open freeway is more fuel efficient than like starting and stopping and making a bunch of turns and stuff. Oh, you almost just barely missed that lamp post. I think I can turn the headlights off. Why is my instrument panel flashing? Was because I hit that zombie there? I wonder why zombies cling to the road so much. Feel good on their zombie feet or something. I think we can get going. I think 90 is the fastest I've hit. Before having to like slam on the brakes. We just obliterate that guy. Like pink misted him. Holy crap. I think this thing only goes like 85. Or I guess we get almost to 90. I'm gonna slow down because that's a little bit too fast for me. If a car came, I'm not sure I could avoid it. I, I, if a car came, I mean like one was in the road, not like a uh, car actually appeared and I would have to avoid it. You know, I completely ran into the zombie accident. Was there an axe back at the uh, that place over there? I don't think... I don't remember seeing one. Okay. Can I just... Okay, well, I can't get past those. Shit. They're just like little wooden, like, things, though. Why can't I get past them? Okay. Let's hop out. We're fine. Come on, zombies. I'm gonna gather them up, lure them away, and try and remove one or two of them. I think I can pick them up. I could have rested, to be honest, but... Friend, come on. I don't think I can jump that either since it's barbed wired. If I just lure him over here and run away. Why don't we smoke a cigarette before we do this? Okay, let's go. We can just get ahead of them enough to where I can pick up a road blocker or two. Probably two of them, to be honest. Too heavy for inventory. I just need to pick this one up. Hell yeah. Come on, place it down, place it down, place it down. Yeah, let's go! Alright, so now we just need to get them away from the van. So we can get it started and get into it. And I think we can with the amount of distance we have here. There we go. Oh, I love it when it starts the first time. 
Actually, we're gonna go, have to go around. I'm just gonna lure him over this way. And we'll just go around the field of cars again. can move these, that's good to know. Well, that might be static items, not movable. Alright, so now we just gotta slip on through here. This is a military checkpoint, right? Suppose they have weapons. Why is my can't zoom in? Just assemble the door, but that would change what I had equipped. And I don't want to do that right now. Um, I'm gonna look in here again real quick. There's nothing that we want in there, but let's clear up some zombies. Cause I think this place actually has some. Year in it. Oh right, we are uh, not doing well that way, huh? Let me inside. I'll at least pull it through the checkpoint. We can close the gate behind us. Provide ourselves with some protection. Okay. Can I sleep in here? I can. Even though there's a zombie knocking on the door out there. It's fine. Although we did just sleep with the car running, which is less than ideal. Never been here before. Where do you suppose they keep the weapons? Well, nowhere we want to be. Shit. Definitely not this way. I want to stay on the road so we can get out of here. I think we're just going to ignore any weapons that might be in here. And, uh... Try to get through this. Should have just let the dang gate open. But... Sometimes you can't. Okay, car's still running. Let's open the gate. Get inside. I'm going to back up first. Lure them sort of inside so I can... <clears throat> Hopefully slip around most of them. I say as I bring them all over. You suppose there's going to be a uh, another roadblock on this side I'm going to have to move? Actually, yes, that. I should eat these fresh potatoes while I have them. made it into Louisville. I've never actually entered Louisville from the uh, side like this. I've always just spawned in it when we played before. Shit. Take it a little slow right here. Kill that zombie just like so pass by. Ooh. Good thing we're doing this now and not at the height of when the zombies are going to be out, which is going to be in uh, about 23 days now. Does this road go all the way through to where we're going? I think it almost does. Do we just floor it until we get past the, uh, if we just reach the dead end of this road, there's then the bridge up north uh, that we have to, like, turn to get to. 
we'll reach a T intersection at some point, right? We'll just turn right when that happens. Good. Keep killing some zombies here and there. The zombies are just spread all over. I think there was one of my headlights. Yep. is down to yellow now too. Uh, just look at all the zombies around. This is gonna be we're gonna have to we're gonna use have to use the tactical to just lure them away, right? Looks like someone's trying to fix their vehicle before they uh, got eaten there. Yeah, we have to go straight over. It might not be a bad idea to go down this side first, though. If we can get outside of the, uh, the university or the art gallery, wherever it's at, we can honk the horn. It's taking a little bit for things to load in now. You can probably tell. crashed. Hmm. Well. What do you suppose is going to happen when we reload? Like, where are we going to be at? Also, I don't know why it crashed. I'm even using my, uh, my new GPU, my 4080, I think it is. The 49 was just too expensive, and the 4080 is like only 60, not 60, 600 dollars when I got it. I don't know. I also just put new thermal paste on my CPU. Because it had been like five years since I last did it, so that was probably an overdue kind of thing. I'll have to pray that when we get back in, we're not mobbed by zombies on the car. Okay. Prepare yourselves. We might have to really quick pause the game and assess the situation. We'll probably do that anyway, so... Okay. Here we are. We are roughly in the same spot we were in before, so... Just keep it moving. I think we're getting some, some definite lag here. Probably from all the zombies that are here and also the stuff we're loading in at the same time. Oh, bollocks. If we keep going here, the road's gonna disappear. But maybe we go straight, even if the road does disappear. Because that puts us right next to the uh, university, or whatever we're going to. Oh shit, we're there already. This, I guess the road didn't disappear. Well, it's this thing that we want to go into. How about this? Let's get out, and we'll just go on foot to lure the zombies away. That way the van is there, we can just back it into that... Uh, little area. In fact, go ahead and open these gates so they have a way out and we have a way in. We shouldn't have too much issue with this. In fact, let's take our beta blockers now so we can uh, get away here. We do have our pistol if we do get a little uh, concerned. We had some bourbon. I should have to be honest, made out of Molotov there, huh? Further away we can lure them, the better, so... 
We're gonna walk calmly, securely. We know what we're about, we know what we're doing. Let's eat a potato, raw, like a real badass. We are getting tired, but if we get back to the uh, the vehicle, just fine. We can always sleep. So, luckily, we're a little bit faster than him, so that's good. I think we're faster than if we walk backwards. I think we still are, just barely faster. Yeah, just barely, or at least we're even. God, if we if we just look back down here, we got a nice little trail. But I think most of them kind of wandered off. All right, we're gonna make a break for it over this way. We're gonna have to run past this horde because even if we sneak past, we're not gonna make it. Out of the way, lady. I'm on a mission from God. A lot of zombies like to just uh, put their butts down next to buildings, huh? Yeah, there's one zombie down. I was hoping I got them both, but it doesn't look like it. Boy, you lot. Oh, wait, I'm on the ground. Come on. We gotta be really careful about how much we're running. Because we do not want to get, uh, you know, exhausted. I could probably jump that fence. That help or hurt? If I can see what's back here. Is there an opening here? No. Dang, there was an opening. I can lead him through there. I jump over the fence later, but. What if I go back here? Ah, oh, fuck my duffel bag. Whatever, that's fine. I can get it again in a moment. If I kill these zombies, who are kind of on their own over here, maybe I can sneak into the apartments, maybe, and get a place to sleep for a moment? like three heads right there in a row. I don't even know how that happened. Dang. Should've hit the one that was on the ground right there first. Okay. Alright, let's check through the window. I think if I remove this glass, go through here, I can sleep real quick. Too panicked to sleep, huh? Let's see what my beta blockers think about that. They think it's fine! What the fuck? I didn't even fucking sleep, bro. That helped not at all. Well, whatever. I can at least pick up the uh, 
Duffel bag. Okay. Let's just sit on the ground for a moment. Until 1540. Get the fuck up, bro! Oh my god. Stop crouching, my guy. Disinfect it and then bandage it up. That's what I get. It didn't look like there was a zombie back there, but I guess there was, huh? Of course it's the right hand, too. God forbid it be like the torso or something like useful. Did you want to just, there we go. Jeez. Okay. We'll just crouch down. I think we lured all the zombies out of this area. So now we can kind of go through here if we open up the map. So we are right up here, so we can kind of go through here, hopefully snake our way back that way. Oh, yeah, of course all the zombies are back there. Why wouldn't they be? Crap. Go this way, then. If we can at least get back to the truck, we can sleep again, so... goes. That side looks clear. And a huge horde down there. Perfect. Well, I think if we are stealthy and light-footed enough, perhaps we can get them to ignore us. What do y'all think? Worth a shot. Looks like it's not worth a shot because they're just gonna. They screw you, we see you anyway, so. I don't know why I was running for so long there. But, uh. Okay. damage since I'm tired, panicked, my hand is damaged, I'm stressed, I'm in pain. Oh, it's down here, isn't it? Yeah, man, yeah. I jump this. I'll, of course, leave the duffel bag behind, but I'll be safe and secure in here. Relatively speaking, anyway. I may have lured a few out, but I think it, uh... Well, not like great. We still have to go to the car, anyway. See if we can find the guns that are there. It would've been nice if they told us, like, what kind of guns they had in that area. We should also smoke when we get, uh, too far ahead of ourselves here. Anyone coming down that way? No. All right, let's go ahead and sit here then. All right, we rested up a little bit. I'm gonna continue sneaking across this area. Am I gaining any experience for this? 631. I feel like the ones who are inside here should be. Unless there's like no zombies inside, which. <clears throat> if that's the case, well, I wouldn't be gaining experience now, would I? What is an art gallery? Okay. I need to get back there. I think I can just sneak around here. What other places are around? <clears throat> okay, well, if I can find a car, I can sleep in it. Which will be okay. As long as there's not like a horde of zombies hiding here or anything. Hmm. Well, 
Well, we got one asshole who wants to say hi. Come on, kick his ass. Let's go. Get him on the ground. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, let's just keep sneaking around. Was it this purple car here, or is it one that's further in? It could be one that's unlocked. Maybe it's that one? All right, let's check the purple car first. We just need a place to sleep for right now. Come on. Of course. Um, I'm just gonna break the fucking window. I don't, I don't care. Let me in. I just need a place that's out of the rain. Too much pain to sleep, of course. That's why we have painkillers on us. Pop his trunk. Gonna unlock the doors. Let's go ahead and sleep now. Hopefully we can sleep for at least an hour or two. Get rid of all that stuff. Okay. I can't even get behind it. Okay, that's cool. It was probably not this one. It might be one of these, but... Let's check the truck up here first. Why am I shocked? Or it's like a zombie right on the other side of this or something. Oh, there's a zombie like right there, huh? Okay. I guess that explains it. Alright, let's check the trunk. Nothing. Alright, it's gotta be one of the other trucks then. Vehicles, I should say. Maybe that one? I don't know. Maybe anyway, let's jump over. Cigarettes. Pop that trunk. Not this one either. Can't get to that one. Try to take out this zombie before we get to ourselves. Maybe level up a little bit, that's nice.
gonna jump over again. Don't be able to get to me, so I can at least relax here for a moment. be going all the way around there to try to get to me. Because the only trunk I haven't checked yet is that one and then those two that I can't even get to right now, so... Why, there's so many zombies right there. Let's check this trunk out quick. Locked two? Why? Like, what the fuck? I guess I got bitten. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the story of Devin, the burglar. He tried to go up there. Maybe it's that one that had the stuff in it? I don't know. It would have been nice to figure out which one had the, uh, the guns and stuff in it so we could have gone in there and taken some parts of it. I liked that little annotated map. That one was fun. Um, it's just a matter of we kind of screwed ourselves by going to the prison and wasting all the shotgun shells there when we could have, you know, gone somewhere else and used the shotgun shells at another location. Like here, for example. Also, it could have been a lot stealthier about that. I don't know what I was thinking right there, but uh, I pretty much knew that this was going to be a suicide mission. There was, uh, no way that if we couldn't take the prison just because of how many zombies there were there, there's no way we were going to be able to do anything in Louisville, really. But, uh, there's only so much you know, that you can really plan to do as, you know, like a burglar character, so... I think for this, that was fine. That was, uh, that was good. So, I think next time we come back here, we'll start up like a, a new uh, playthrough, or I guess life sort of thing. I do like having this like uh, insane amount of zombies around. Although we haven't seen like a huge horde of like a thousand, right? They've all been like small little dinky hordes. Maybe that's just we haven't ramped up to the, like the highest amount of them or something. I don't know. But, yeah. I think next time we'll, we'll try to do another challenge thing. Whether it's something like just putting all negative stats on our guy and seeing how long we can survive in Louisville or uh, stuff like that. Maybe just doing one of the like the challenge things. Like if we go to quit the menu and we uh, look here. Open up. It'll it'll open in a moment. I have faith, right? Here we go. Like if we were to go into um, say a really CDDA. Which is like uh, a really bad day where uh, you're out of the shower, you fall badly, you're drunk, you have a cold, your house is on fire. You know, just kind of trying to survive you know, how you can. There's also a storm coming, clouds are gathering over Kentucky, the crackle of thunder is kind of darkening. Um, so this is like a forever winter kind of thing happening? I don't know. House in the woods. Um, that's kind of like Call of Duty zombie mode kind of thing, right? Isn't it? I mean, that one is not, but this one, the second one is where you can like upgrade and get money and stuff like that. Kingsmith Isle. We could try that one. Studio with the best movies of film. Descending Fog. Winter's coming. It's mid-January, but suddenly there's a chill in the breeze. You awaken an isolated location. 
you have meager supplies and the undead horde might be slowed by the intense cold, but they're no less deadly. Warm up, survivor. So we can try doing this kind of stuff. Also, this one day thing, I don't think I'm at all prepared to do. Um, where you have a uh, one day to get stuff while killing a couple zombies, but then after the day hits, all of the zombies start spawning and like they constantly try to kill you. It would be easy enough to do once you get a like a way to get water and then to uh, grow food. You could just go to like a roof, create a, a way over to it, and then just cut that right that area off so that you know the zombies can't get to you. Easy peasy, you live forever, right? But uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of decide what to do when we come up next here and uh, go from there. Maybe I'll do a, even just like a, not even one of those challenges, but something else I think of. So until then, bye for now.